Hello my friends, my name is Dadcraft73 and welcome back to another episode of Sky Factory 4. Let me tell you something before we get in here. Um, behind me you're going to see a little bit of contraption and we're going to go look at that in just a second. But let me, uh, first of all, apologize for not having a video yesterday. I tried. So on Friday, I got up at 6am and went with my daughter to a band thing. It's about an hour and a half away. And then after that, we went to an amusement park and spent the rest of the day until like, I don't know, 8 o'clock? Uh, no, I guess we left down there about 6.30. Pouring down rain, uh, walking around. Uh, I was like the, a chaperone for a bunch of kids, so I ended up like holding all their bags and all kinds of crazy stuff while they went and got on rides and stuff, which was fine. But and we got home last night at about... I don't know, 8.30? Maybe 9 o'clock? 8.30, probably. Somewhere between 8.30 and 9. And let me tell you what, I was done. So I'm like, oh, I gotta go record a video. And then I proceeded to record some stuff, specifically building this. But there were bad things happening in that video. I literally, while I was talking, so I'd be like, oh, over here is a tree fluid extract. And I would fall asleep. <laughs> while recording I mean like literally in the middle of talking I would just stop talking and then I would be asleep and I would wake myself awake and I'd be like oh what what where where was I and then sometimes I don't even think I realized I fell asleep because I would wake up and be like oh yes the tree fluid extractor is amazing it was not a good 25 minutes of video at all and I was like oh you know it's okay I'll just add to it and we'll just you know do what we need to do because I rebuilt these things here and we're going to talk about these in just a minute but in any case um yeah you're not seeing any of that footage by the way I just noticed this guy's name is Mr. T which is amazing I pity the fool that don't buy my stuff from the market <laughs> oh I'm telling you what I was completely out of it yesterday Oh, it was bad. So here's what, let's just do a quick recap, and then we're going to get into what we're going to do today, which is what, what we were going to do yesterday, but we just never got around to it, if that even makes any sense whatsoever. So first of all, I have made a couple more of these upgradable combustion generators. If you remember from the video, so last video, two days ago, we had just one of these. I made three more, and I put two of these upgrades in there, and I'm running them off sticks, and I think we're, I think that's okay. I think we have lots of sticks stick yeah we still have 18,000 so I think this is okay we're not using a lot of power now so I would assume this will start going down so this is your typical industrial foregoing um, extraction deal with a little bit of simple storage thrown in for good measure so essentially what I'm doing here is I'm keeping this guy stocked up with oak wood yeah so we're taking care of business there. It took me a little bit of messing around to get this thing pointed down, but I was able to use my crescent hammer and I had to do a little testing, like put it above the ground so I could walk under and figure out how to do it. And essentially what I ended up doing finally to get it to work, or I don't know, to verify that it was working, is I just put one log in there, in one log in here, and then just kept turning it until it actually put it down, right? So these uh, tree fluid extractors, let me just show you, tree fluid extractor, are simple, right? It's a furnace, a redstone, an iron gear, which is four pieces of iron, and then some stone. So I made four of those. They don't require any power, and they just work. Yeah. And then I made a basic fluid tank for mechanism, um, which is basic fluid tank. Uh, yeah. Yeah, iron and redstone, no worries. And just attach it so I could extract from all four of these guys and pump it into this thing right here. This would give me a little bit of backlog, really. Servo to pull that fluid out and then go into the latex processing center. You can see I've got eight buckets of fluid in there plus that. And this thing essentially is going to produce for me unlimited latex forever. There's only one small issue. Um, oh, and by the way, this guy does require power and he's being wirelessly powered from our cyclic wa uh, thing right there latex processing unit right over there so that's pretty much what I did so there's only one small issue that we still have to deal with oh by the way I figured out this building gadget thing I'm gonna show you that in a second maybe 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 um, but anyway um, there's only one small issue here and it's water so I'm like oh I got it we'll make the old cooker for blockhead sink and we will take that guy and we'll set it down like this, right? And we'll take a couple fluid ducts like so, womp womp, right? And then we'll put a servo over here and say, you extract, um, ignored, do the thing that you do. 
no water is going in there. So then I'm like, oh, okay, I'll do this because I've used this already. Let's use these guys. I'll, I'll use this. I will make a fluid extraction cable from Cyclic because those are awesome. And I'll go like that. And then I'll go like this. And I'll go over here. And no water. <laughs> so I guess what that means is that the sink can no longer be hacked around with and used as, even though it is, oh, oh, that just broke that forever. Even though it is an infinite water source, I can't get water out of it. So what I'm going to do, oh, hello? Hey. Are you not even giving me water at all? This must not must no longer be an infinite water source like at all. Wow, that's kind of insane. Huh. I did not know that that's the way that worked. Okay. But no worries. I have a plan, as I usually do when things don't work, because most of what I end up doing ends up not working, so I have to figure out new things. By the way, um, this is apple sapling, making tons of apples. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's how we were able to do the things that we need to do. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go here. Well, we can just go here, I guess, with our storage remote. We put some stuff away. Uh, that, 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 that. Keep the bucket. Uh, that and that can go away for now. And the sink. So um, I need a tank is what I need. Um, and we can use this one. Fluid storage tank. Stores up to 64 buckets of any liquid. And we can go like so. I'll just put this thing down like right here. And then I need to fill this thing up. For my super old school vanilla infinite water source. That I love the fact it works. And I'm, let me just before I go too much crazier here. Let's break this. Okay it does say it holds. It, it keeps the water. So if I put. Let's put that there. Okay, and then we can just go. And I don't need all of these buckets, but we need to get a couple. There's 19, 20. 20. We need um, we need a good many. There's 24. Let's get 27 buckets of water. And no, let's get 34 buckets of water. In there. Okay, 34 buckets. Okay. Please don't go skating away. Okay, you're in my inventory. Perfect. All right, I'm actually going to get... Uh, we can go downstairs and do it. Uh, I'm, I'm actually... Uh, that was good. That uh, In my like half-passed-out state um, of partial paying attention to what was going on... Oh, hello. Um, yeah, I couldn't... Like, I couldn't figure out... My brain wasn't figuring out what I was doing wrong with that sink. But I guess... That the problem is, is not really the sink, it's the fact that it just doesn't work anymore. And, I mean, if it does, please correct me if I'm wrong, because you guys know what's up, usually. Alright, we'll go like that. Now, are you getting water? Yes, yes, working like a dream. Okay. So, it must be the sink. Dang, hacks game. Trying to cheat me. Um, can't tell me how much is in there. 18, okay. Alright, so this, we're going to let this run for a little while. And, I mean, it uses like a bucket or whatever. I don't know how much it uses. Yeah, it uses like a bucket for every one of these tiny rubber, tiny dry rubber. But um, the cool thing about it, and I didn't really know what I was going to do until I found this, which I didn't even know this was the thing. The water con con cond condensator. And it says, when having two blocks of uh, uh, when having two or more sides with water source blocks, it will start collecting water. <laughs> oh yeah man so what's going to happen we should end up with um, like 36 pieces of rubber by the way so the cool thing is um, we're going to make one of those but here's the, the way they get you you got to have plastic and we can't make plastic until we can make dry rubber which we can make with this so now this is going to give me that's it Okay, 36 I counted that right uh, we just need a crafting thing how about right here all right, and then this is going to give us four pieces of tr tiny dry rubber, which then we can put into one of these things that has a little bit of... Dang it. Why do none of these things have any coal? I'm going to take these and put these in here. 
So, all right, and then we'll turn those into plastic, and then we'll make one of those water deals, and now we could get rid of this, right? So we don't need this anymore, um, or these. I should be using my crescent hammer like so. Okay, and then we'll make one of those water condensers. I mean, the only downside, I guess, is going to require power, which I'm, you know, whatever it is, what it is. But still, all right. So the other thing that we're going to have to figure out how to do. I mean, we, it's not really to have to figure it out. We just have to do it. So we're going to need a couple pistons. Can we just make these one, two? Okay, perfect. All right, good. And then we're going to need a lever. Like so. Okay. And then we're going to need some kind of blocks. Like cobble or something. Yeah, that works. Okay. So let's go like right here. One, two, three. Okay. And then, all right, can I knock these out? Okay, and then if I take one of these, what's the chance of me going to get it facing the right way? Uh, pretty much zero, but that's okay. We can maybe go like that. Okay, perfect. And we put this one in, like so. Twist him. And then we go like this and this, and go around. Okay. You guys did an excellent job. Very good job. All right, you're going to come with me, and you're going to go like this, and we're going to spin you right round. Okay? And then you're going to go there, and you're going to go there. Okay, now. Now we can break all this stuff up. Now we have a perfect little thing for a little water. So we just need to go get a couple buckets of water. Uh, let's stop by and grab this on our way. Hello, Mr. Plastic. <laughs> yeah. Oh, game. This game tries to beat you, you know. It does. It works hard, but, man, sometimes we're just way too good for this game. Do I have any more buckets? I do. Let's get a second one out of here. Let's go to our infinite water source. Womp. Womp. Okay. You, Egg, come with me. All right, and we'll go back downstairs. Boop. All right, and now we're going to make this water thing, right? This water uh, condensed. So we need to get a couple iron gears. One, two. Okay, that's easy. All right. We need a machine thing. So that means we need one of these, which we're going to use these guys to make that. All right, machine thing now. Yeah, you're here. And then... Okay, water condensator. The only downside is oh, we now don't have our bucket of water. I forgot that we need a bucket of water for that. Let's go grab another bucket from the infinite water source. <sighs> it's weird that we have thermal um, expansion, but the aqueous thing, the aqueous accumulator, not here. Maybe it's disabled. Maybe they want you to go. Maybe. Darkosto wants us to go down the path of industrial foregoing, which just so happens, um, I'm down with that. Okay, and now we'll go over here, like so, and we'll place a water source here, and a water source here, and then this in the middle. Okay, you don't require power, <laughs> which I'm a fan of. And then we will go like so, right? And we will go like this. And we will say, you always go. And now, bom, 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 bom. we got that water. I got the music in me. All right, so that's working like a dream. Okay, now, now, we just need one more little thing here. Uh, we need a couple things. First of all, what do we want to do? We want to take, hmm, I want to make a packager. Is this how you make this? What's the deal here? We need some light blue dye. That's easy. Okay, so we're going to make one of those. We can make light blue dye. This is one of the things we want to have to make anyway. So we're going to use this one. We need four pieces. Okay, and we need a couple furnaces. One, two. And then we need a couple crafting benches. One, two. Okay. And then we can make a packager. Okay. And now do we have some item? We do. And we should have a servo uh, in my, you know, servo. Need one of these. Okay. All right. So now if we take the packager, and where do we want to put this? I guess it could go like right here. All right. 
and we want to do no um, item do item transfer and then we'll put a servo on here and we'll say you go all the time I guess this packager requires a little bit of power is that the deal so what is you what are you uh, output items we don't have to go that way it should just be going okay it is going into the packager now all right so we need to give this guy some power just so happens we have some of these GPS deals here so this we can just map there and we can go put into our wireless deal here like so okay we can go like that now will this automatically package it into rubber for us huh hold on this is what we wanted, right? Um, supports custom recipes. Okay, so... Okay, how do I give it a recipe? Alright, well... Is there like a recipe? Okay. Pattern? It's like a pattern through cyclic? Hmm. All right, so it has power. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Um, hmm. I don't really understand what how this is supposed to work. What can I do? All right. Oh, this is all the recipes it makes. Maybe it doesn't know how to make. Oh. Well, that's a rip. Is it telling me it doesn't know how to make? The only way to do it is this. Huh. huh. Well, that's kind of dumb. That should work. Mm. Okay. Well, I mean, if that's the way we're going to be, then, okay, we're just going to go like this. All right. And then I'm going to get this back. You're going to give me the contents. You are. Okay. All right. That's fine. And let's go uh, import this. We have we have some of those. We need one of these. We need some cable. And I need a what's it called? A folder? Yeah. Folder. Okay. Alright, we're gonna go like this. We're gonna take one of these. We're gonna make a tiny dry rubber folder. Yep. And remember, just like we did with I can't remember what it was the other day. Um we have yeah, as long as we have space. Right? We can add another guy in there. Now that's a dry... I don't know. Hopefully I recorded us doing that. I can't remember what we added to it. Something. Cobble, maybe? I don't know. But anyway, now we can do that. Right? And now we can do, like, one of these deals. Yeah. Like so. And then... Wow, we need cable. Okay. And now we can go something like... Nope. Down, please. Are you going to just import whatever? 
No. I have to tell it what I want you to import, which is this. Yeah, now you're importing. Very nice. And now if we go here, right, I could go like this and this and this. And then if we go over here to wherever that drawer was, right, and take a look at it. Isn't that where that's supposed to be going? Did it go in this thing? Maybe. Did it all go in here? No. Yes. Yes, it did. Dang it. That's not how I wanted that to work. I wanted it to go into this thing. Now will you go in there? Yes. Okay. All right. Um. So this is easy to fix. Actually, we need to go here and we need to increase this to ten. That way, we want it to go. So everything else is zero. Um, we want it to use these first before it tries to use this thing up there. So now this thing is going to work like a dream, and it's just going to make this stuff forever. Essentially, I mean literally forever. So we're going to have plastic forever. All right, so now that we've got tons of plastic, we can go here and we can say, hey, give me some of this and we'll make as many as it'll let me 26 pieces of plastic. And we can go like so and do that, okay? So now we've got a plastic operation. Um, I'm sort of irritated that it didn't let me do... Processing cable. Hmm. Manage all processing cables in the network. Wow, that might be interesting to mess around with at some point. But for now, I think we're okay. This thing was a complete waste. Um, I'm sure we could use it for something else, like making amber or something like that, but I don't know if I need to. I'm not too worried about it either way. I think. All right. Anyway, anyhow. All right. So that's working like we, we need to. Now, the reason that I wanted to do some industrial foregoing stuff, now that we've got a little bit of power happening here, I mean, it's not a ton of power, but it's certainly some, um, we could do a couple things, I think. I mean, one is get ourselves um, a mining operation. We can do some... Uh, we could do some animal husbandry and all that kind of stuff we want to. But what I really want to do is I want to make better mulch. <laughs> I mean, believe it or not, that's what I would like to do. So to get that, we can make, like, amber mulch. Now, what is the upgraded version of mulch? Not that, not that, not that. Yes. So ruby mulch. Oh, we need amber mulch for that? Hmm. Okay. I mean, we need to get into mechanism, then it looks like like ASAP. So we need to go through all the different mulches. So I was going to try to make um, ruby mulch and get fertilizer from a sewage composter and then get all the way up to, like, the end game stuff there. But we have to get all the mulches in between, it looks like. So it sounds like the best course of action for us would be to start going down the mechanism light line. Um, okay, let's look here real quick. Um, we also have all of these different things we can make yeah 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 age of enhancement we got to do some of this stuff we'll come back to that um, but I was gonna go somewhere where was I oh power cells no not power cells they don't need anything special right this seems like some new thing that I've never seen before prismarine crystals yeah and this is titanium and a dilithium to make the high ones. And then you have different power cells, power cell cores. Yeah, those look like new to me. RF tools power. Hmm. Power converter. Yeah, I mean, so we can make some of those for sure to hold lots of powers, um, different type of things. Froster to make snow. 
do all this kind of stuff. But I thought what we would... Oh, and we have all obviously Age of Storage that we're going to have to get into as well. But I think what we're going to do is get into Age of Power... No, Age of... Uh, do we even have, like, this stuff? Or does it just kind of assume that we're going to make it? Uh, I don't know. Hmm. Alright. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this thing run for a little bit, gather up some extra rubber, and then we're going to come back, and I think what we're going to do is we're going to jump into mechanism. I wanted to get this running. I don't... I mean, at some point we need to get a mob farm, but... I think what my plan was, was I was going to use that for my different stuff, but it doesn't work that way. Mulch. Like, I can't make yellow mulch without making... So I need to get biofuel, which means a crusher. And a crusher means this stuff. Yeah, and I can't do anything without plastic. Let me just take a look here and see if there was any other plastic recipes. I mean, or are they truly all industrial foregoing? The one who codes animal feeder. These are all industrial foregoing recipes. So there's been no recipe changes. Potion brewer, fluid dictionary converter, fortune add-on, protein generator, rubber bucket, froster. Okay. All right, so I think what we're going to do, I mean, obviously we need to get industrial for going anyway because we're going to use IF for farming purposes, which we're going to need to get to sooner than later. We're also, I guess, going to have to get a mob farm. I mean, I guess, right? Um, because we need essence. We need this stuff here. Inferium essence. And I don't know where it comes from. Um, yeah, thanks. Thanks. <laughs> I could convert that way, and obviously I could get Inferium Seeds, but I need to get some sort of Inferium. I have this crazy thing, which I don't even know what that is, some deep thing. I don't know. So we need to probably... I'm hoping I get that from killing mobs. I mean, we haven't got any yet, so I don't really know where to get it other than these seeds, and I can't make them yet. So I'm hoping that... We Maybe we can find it in the Nether? I guess that's possible, right? What are you doing, apples? I gotta deal with you. So I'm gonna uh, go off camera for just a second. I'm gonna look at a couple things, and I'll be back with you, and then we'll go from there. Alrighty, my friends, we are back. All right, so I think what we're gonna do um, is we're gonna try to get ourselves a mob farm going because you know I was sitting here thinking, uh, yeah, I think we're gonna try to make, yeah, we're gonna do some industrial for going uh, farming, and try to get into some mystical agriculture. I'd like to get that done. Um, get all that farming stuff done because then that man it opens up the game. You don't have to worry about resources anymore. I mean, we're sort of in that spot now. We have a little bit more work to do for sure, but you know we're doing pretty good for ourselves. All right, so I'm gonna start by building. I need torches. I was hoping I had some in here. I have one. Can I make some more? That'll be enough. Okay. I've also got my building gadget. And if you don't know, first of all, I changed, I mapped my hotkey. Let's go here. So if I went go like this, I mapped my hotkey for this thing to my number pad eight key. It's not the greatest, but whatever, it's fine. So I've got build to me selected. And I'm going to show you how um, super cool that is. And let's go like this. So I want to make my mob farm over this way. Okay. So we're going to go like one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Hmm, that's good, probably. And then, so if I take this now and I go like this, oh, I want to make sure that it's like got that locked in. It'll do. See how it makes that row? Watch. Want. We have to build this one, too. Okay, there we go. And then we can do the same thing over there. Wow. Look at that. Just built that for us. Like, uh, that was amazing. Okay. And now we can 
put some torches along here just to make sure nothing comes and kills us while we're out here building our mob farm. Okay, so now we have, this thing's like, what, 25 blocks or whatever away from the edge. And now I can do one, two, three, four. I don't know exactly how big to make this. I think I'm going to make it pretty big. Four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's do nine, nine. Okay. So that means it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven from this way. Let's go put a torch down here. Okay. And then we'll go like this and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Put a couple torches there. Okay. And then if we do. So what does that make this? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then six. So seventeen. So seventeen by seventeen. Uh, what I need to do? Let's make the mob crusher. I think we're gonna try to make the mob crusher first, and if we can get that done, then we can make some upgrades and figure out how big this thing actually needs to be to be able to kill all the stuff we want. Okay, so what we need is, I don't know why we came back over here, but we did. All right, so mob crusher is what we, I have 26 pieces of plastic in my inventory, so we need one of these. That means we need another one of these crazy guys. We should make like a couple that we don't have to keep doing it. Okay, so we should be able to make this. Yep, we should be able to make these. Yep, yep, okay. We should be able to make a book. Nope. All right, how can we make a book? Uh, we don't have paper. Oh, we have sugar cane, though. Okay. Um, and then we can make books this way. Right? One, two. Okay. All right. And then we just need to make an iron sword, like so. And now we can make the mob crusher. Okay? All right. Let's go put him up here. You know, I'm not a huge... I'm hoping we actually get essence from these mobs. Some of you may be knowing all, may know already what the deal is. Um, I don't. So let's see. If we turn on the working area, it's right there. Yep. So we're going to need to do an upgrade for him. And am I in range? Yeah. So it's a range add-on is what it is. Let's do like... I want this one. What's the chance of us having all that stuff? Eh, it's not too bad. We just need... No... We just need this. Do I have any glass at all? I have four pieces, of course. <laughs> I never have enough of anything. Let's go down um, and get... Do I have some sand? Yeah. One, two, okay. Let's take you and put, put you in there. And then we need coal or something. Charcoal, that's fine. Okay, that can all go in there. The rest of you guys can go in there. You, this stuff, this extra sand can go in there. Eggs can go in there. This, 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 this. That, we're going to need in a minute. Uh, that packager, man, that packager was kind of a letdown. But that's okay. Um, I just need two pieces of glass. There we go. Now I should be able to make... Um, Glass panes, just like this. All right, and then range add on. We want to do the gold one there. Okay, done. All right, let's go upstairs and we'll put this in and we'll use this to determine how big we're going to make our. Oh, I want to check. Have you, Mr. Course, for giving me a couple ender pearls? Just one. Okay, yeah. And we'll have to wait until we have two. Then we can build elevators and we never have to climb up and down this crazy thing again. We can do it all the cool way. All right, so let's go put this guy over here. All right, now... I could have went one bigger. But that might be big enough, I think. Actually okay with having like a little bit of a a wall there, like a an edge, just in case we need to go like rolling around. Okay, now I could take out my building gadget, right? It's got build the me turned on, and I could just go like this. Wow. Wow. 
I mean, I will have to put a couple blocks right like this, but that's a small price to pay for sure. I mean, that makes that so much faster. Let's go like as far back as we can. One, two, three, four, five. That's so cool. <laughs> I'm down. I don't know if you are, but I'm down with the old building building deal. All right, let's go build a couple more real quick, like so. And we'll do this one, this one, this one, and then that one. Perfect. All right. Now we got this edge. Okay. Now, I think... All right, let's see what happens here. I've never done this before, so we're going to figure it out together. We want a vertical wall. I'm going to rotate. Wait. No, it's got to be vertical for sure. How can I rotate it? Oh, like that? Okay. Okay. All right, that seems to be working, I guess. I guess. Okay, I mean, that worked, right? That did what we wanted it to, I guess. I guess. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't great, but, you know, it kind of worked. I'd almost rather... Let's try this. Let's go back to... Place on top. Okay. So if I go down here... Okay, it doesn't wipe out existing blocks, which is interesting. Okay. All right, let's go in here, get lots of light going on. I mean, I guess that's faster. I mean, it's got to be faster, right? Because now we can just run down here. Are we almost out of cobble? No, we're actually in really good shape. Right? I can go like this and say, let's start up here. Okay. Maybe it'll let me do it. Let's see. So that sort of worked, yeah. Okay, and now, all right. So this is where the this is going to be the interior of the mob spawner, all right? That's going to be where the crusher is at. So that should work. Let's eat a little something, all right. Oh, you know what else we need to do while we're running around here, real quick, is we need to take this guy, and we need to grab his coordinates, like that. All right. Now we need to make a bunch of slabs, I guess. Um, cobble these. I 
Maybe four of those things. Okay. And then let's actually get some cobble. Okay, like so. Alright, and now we'll put a roof on this. I have to I'm gonna have to go trim those extra corners off, I think. Um they they make me a little crazy. I do not care for it. Oh no, what am I doing? How about like that? Okay. Alright, so now if I go down along the edge here, like this, take our building gadget and say, okay, you're doing that now. Okay. And then we'll do Oh no, oh no, 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 no. I'm in a little bit of trouble. Okay. Oh lord. <laughs> oh man, that was almost a nightmare. Alright, get this out of here. Okay. Wow, that scared me. My stomach was like doing backflips. Alright, so let's go like so. Things working like a dream. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Now we should be light free in there. We just have to give this thing power, and hopefully mobs will start spawning. And if so, that's going to be amazing. So we're going to get drops already. I think we actually have a mob in there. We just need to go and put this thing in the thing. Like so. Right? Um, you need to go over here and get added like that. Okay. Mob. I'm not sure why it says relocator. We're not relocating stuff, right? We're actually should be grinding. This is the mob crusher, right? Yeah, okay. Alright, so is anything spawning in there? I mean we're not on like some crazy like I mean difficulty's hard. Yeah, that's the way it should be. There's not some weird thing with mob spawning, right? It should work. Maybe we gotta end this episode so soon we're long. Okay. Okay, I gotta fix this. Alright, let me fix this edge. I gotta fix these two edges. I'm not gonna be able to live with it if it's like this, so I gotta take care of it. Let me go fix these things, and I'll be back with you. I'm gonna go step away for a little bit after I get these edges cleaned up and see if we can't get some mobs to spawn. That'd be amazing if we can make that happen. Let's not fall off the edge, please. Okay, so let me get this cleaned up. I'll be back with you in just a second. Alrighty, my friends, we are back. Alright, this thing's been running for, I don't know, about five minutes or so. Um, I just got done knocking off this side. I did this one right before, right after I cut, and then I had to step away for just a second. Um, but as a, as I was sort of like running away, I thought, you know, uh, <laughs> I forgot there's a bunch of torches in there. So I turned those off, and I thought I saw some red dots. So I'm assuming that we got some mob spawns in here, and we should have goodies. How do you use dirt? So we have a bunch of slime. What's our biome? Swampland. Okay, so we're going to be able to farm green slime out of there, which is pretty good, I guess. And these things. Melee Android. I don't know what that is. Can we, like, build androids? <laughs> Man, we'll be all over that for sure. Um, I don't see any essence, though, which is not great. So we got to see if we can't get some more mobs to spawn in there. I guess the only other place that it could spawn is maybe the nether. We may have to find, like, some, uh, was it, Inferium, like, Ore? Yeah, I mean, it spawns here. It also is in the end. So maybe we have to go into the Nether and find some. 
and then get it going, get a big field of it being harvested by our thing, and then kind of go from there. That's probably what it is. It probably doesn't spawn. Yeah, I mean, we're getting some other drops, though. I mean, we're getting some rotten flesh, right, which we can use to make cool statues and things. But we can also, I believe, we can get blood for them. We can turn into monster jerky. And I think with the dehydrator, yeah, we can turn into leather, which is pretty good. So it's just going to be something we're going to have to keep an eye on. We're also getting bones out of there, which is pretty good. We're getting gunpowder, which I'm sure we can use for something besides just TNT. Yeah, you know, who knows? Yeah, yeah. So we're just going to be able to have, we're just going to have to, this thing's going to run for a while. Yeah, raking it in. Um, but I don't think we're going to get essence. I'm going to let it go for a little while and see if we get anything. We can probably build ourselves another big old chest and just store a bunch of stuff in there. That's probably what we should do. Um, like if we go here, we need, okay, so I think we have maybe some of this stuff. Let's, um, let's see. Chests, yeah, we need 18. Uh, fence. I don't know how many fences we need. Let's see. What does it say? 64, 64, and clay. I don't think we have the iron. Uh, so what do we want to do here? I sort of want one of these. Okay. Um, iron amber. Let's make that. That's really only the, only the hard thing. Okay. You guys can all go in there. And you are what? Off? Turn you on. And then, let's see, how much uh, iron do we have? 24? Yeah, we should be able to get a stack pretty good. All right, we need some fences. Fence. We need some more of these. We just need, like, 32. Okay, there's an extra one. So those, those. And then what else do we need for this big chest? Ah, a little bit of clay. Do we have clay? No, but we can make some. Okay, so all we need is the iron, and we're good to go. Chicken, you're about on my last nerve standing around here all the time. What is wrong with you? Get out of here. Go over there. Leave me alone. I'm going to have to put the chop it on you is what's going to happen, and then you're not going to be happy. Dang thing. All right, put the rest of these in there. All right, let's pour out a block there. Is this working? Oh. Yeah, how about we do it like that, and then it would work probably a little better. Okay. All right, so we, we'll, we'll, I'll get this going here in just a second, and then we'll make another big chest. Meanwhile, let's get some... Um, we need an item. Do we have item? Yeah, we're going to need just a couple of these. You know, we should also do is maybe... Hmm, I don't know if we can do that. Let's just, let's just go with items for now. That's fine. All right, you get poured out again. So this is going to be however many. Okay, let's get all our iron out of here. That's 38. 41. 42. It's like 50 couple. 55. Depending on what we get out of here, we probably will want to get... We want to export all this stuff into, like, things, right? I think. <laughs> into the storage cabinets. Okay, so we'll go like this and like that, and we'll put these extra guys in there. Okay, now we'll go over here. Let's change the color. I don't care what color it is. We want to do this, 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 and this, and then we're going to get this crazy purple chest. Okay, so 288 slots. That'll at least get us going, right, I think. So we'll just go like so, stick it right here so we can open it. Yeah, it's amazing. And then we'll go like this. Servo's going to go here, and we're going to say you do that thing that you do, right? And then all of you things will go in here, like so. Is there more of them coming? Let's go over here. Okay, let's see. 
I don't know. There's 41, a stack plus 41 gunpowder. Let's just go over here and just hang out a second. See if we get any more mobs. This can go in here. This can go in there. Oh, arrows should have went in there. That and that could go in there. These guys can stack that. Keep that. Okay. Keep that. Yes. All right. Now let's go see if we got some more mob drops, which would be pretty cool if we did. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So we're getting some stuff, right? I mean, whatever. Oh, give me my diamond axe thing back out of here, guy. Don't be trying to steal that from me. Um, arrows could go in there, too. So that's good. I mean, we're getting arrows. We're getting some of the mob drops. It doesn't look like we're getting any of the, the essence, though. So maybe next episode, since we now have the ability to do industrial foregoing, maybe next episode it's time to go back to the nether and do a little bit of searching. We probably want to get her some, some sort of bow first. Um, we have a bunch of arrows now, so maybe we can make some kind of bow. I don't know. Like the electric bow, perhaps. I don't know. I don't, some of these aren't that great. Uh, we could make a Tinker's Construct, or we could make a Shuriken or something. I mean, you guys always get happy about that kind of stuff. Maybe that's what we can do. Who knows? Who knows what we'll get into next time. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. Man, I'm sorry about yesterday not having an episode. You know how that works sometimes. But we're back. This is episode like 12 or 13 or something like that, and we're perfectly fine and doing great. So until next time, please remember to be cool. Don't be a fool. And from my Sky Factory 4 series and world, I guess we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.